Hi, let's talk about Graham's rate of effusion. Uh, this is a manipulation of um, the root mean square Maxwell's equation. It really allows us to compare the um, rate of effusion or diffusion, how fast a gas moves, um, one type of gas compared to another type of gas. Now, you and I know this takeaway from kinetic energy. Um, at the same temperature, you're going to have the same velocity um, for, um, or excuse me, you're going to have the same kinetic energy at a given temperature. Um, but depending on the mass, the velocities will change. So big takeaway, the smaller the mass, the faster the gas moves. Smaller the mass, faster the gas moves. And we're going to see this. Mathematically, we'll see this. Um, so here is the formula, Graham's um, rate of effusion. Remember, effusion is going to be how quickly a gas moves through a small hole. You can also use this for diffusion. You can use it for both effusion and diffusion. Diffusion is just how fast a gas moves and fills any space, not necessarily moving through a small hole. Okay, so it's going to be gas, the rate of gas A divided by the rate of gas B. Notice I color-coded this because it equals the reciprocal. It equals the square root of molar mass of gas B. Check that out. So rate of gas B is in the denominator, but on this side, the molar mass of gas B is in the numerator. Um, that divided by the molar mass of gas A. And so that's also flipped. It's on the opposite side of that fraction. So be careful. Um, I always point this out to my students. Make sure when you write this part, flip it. Okay. Um, so I have several questions for you, three questions that we're going to do, um, and these will all help you with the problems that you're doing, um, questions that I will find my students have. So let's take this first problem. Methane is going to um, effuse or defuse um, at a rate of 1.5 moles per minute. That's how fast it moves through a hole if it's effusing. And the unknown effuses at 2 moles per minute. Um, and what we want to know is, well, what is this unknown gas? What's the molar mass? That's going to be the question. What's the molar mass of that unknown gas? Can we identify it? Um, so let's go ahead and plug in what we have. Um, rate of gas A, this is going to be the methane, will be 1.50 moles per minute divided by gas B. Here's my unknown. It's going to be 2 um, moles per minute equals. Now, I want to point something out. This is a slower effusion than this unknown. So right away, I know that this molar mass is going to have to be smaller than methane, right off. Just because the um, slower something moves, the bigger the mass. The faster it moves, the smaller the mass. Um, okay, now be really careful and watch how I do this. This was methane. So the molar mass of methane goes on the opposite side of the fraction. Molar mass of methane, uh, carbon is 12, and hydrogen, we've got four of those, is 1.01. That's going to be 16.05 grams per mole. And then what we're looking for is the molar mass of this unknown gas. So to do this mathematically, let's do the 1.5 divided by 2, and that's going to be equal to um, x divided by 16.05. So we're going to get a 0.75. Let me make sure here. I, want, I don't want to make a mistake on the camera. Um, yeah, 0.75. So we're going to get 0.75 equals square root x divided by 16.05. Notice those units canceled out. I still have my gram per mole right there. Now to get rid of a square root, what do we do? Square both sides. We're going to square both sides. So let's square that and we get 0.5625 equals, so the square root's now gone, x divided by 16.05. Now I want to solve for x, so let's multiply both sides by 16.05 times 16.05 and x will equal 9. x equals 9. So looking at the periodic table, beryllium gas, it would be a beryllium gas. And notice, notice this, the molar mass of methane was 16, molar mass of beryllium is 9, and which one moves faster? The smaller mass, the beryllium gas B, right there, it has a faster rate of effusion. Okay, so there is 
your first. There's your first example. Second example that you could be asked, look how this is framed. It says helium effuses 2.24 times faster than neon. What is the molar mass of the unknown? So what's different about this is that they're not giving us two rates. They're really, it just sounds like giving us one, that helium effuses 2.24 um, times faster. Well, inherent embedded in that is this is compared to one. Let me show you this. The helium, so this is my helium, it's telling me it fuses 2.24 times faster, so that would be compared to one, and that's for the unknown. So if you're ever given just one number, um, faster or slower, you're comparing it to one. That's what's inherent, you're comparing it to one. So this helium, it fuses 2.24 times faster than the unknown, which means the unknown is our reference of one. Um, so there you have it. You always reference it to one if they only give you one rate. Uh, now, looking at this, doing a thought question, um, if helium effuses faster, I know that this helium right here, it must have a smaller molar mass than the unknown. The unknown is going to have a larger molar mass. So equals, it's going to be the molar mass of each. Okay, the molar mass of helium, I know that from the periodic table, it's four. And notice I put it on the opposite side. I'm looking for the molar mass of the unknown, so that's going to be my x. Um, so let's go ahead and square both sides so that we can get rid of that square root. Let's see, 2.24 squared is going to be five. Um, and units on this, it would just be any rate, so they cancel, don't have to worry about that. The uh, unit here is grams per mole. This is going to equal x divided by four grams per mole. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by four, and we get x equals 20 grams per mole. So my unknown is probably going to be neon. Neon has a molar mass of 20.18. And notice this molar mass is larger than the molar mass of helium, which is four. And that's why helium moves faster, because it's smaller, it's going to have a greater velocity. They're at the same temperature, same kinetic energy. Okay, last type of question. Number three, it says, how much faster does fluorine diffuse than chlorine? So here, they're wanting a comparison. It's actually kind of similar to this question, just backwards. They want a comparison of how much faster does fluorine diffuse than chlorine. Now be careful on this. Both fluorine and chlorine are diatomic elements. So when we do molar mass, we're multiplying it by two. So we're going to have I just want to know how much faster fluorine effuses. So let's put fluorine in the numerator. Oh, that's my two. And the reason why I'm doing this is I know that fluorine is going to move faster because it's a smaller molecule. This mass is lower. Chlorine, diatomic, Cl2. Okay, and really what I'm looking for is some number over one. Okay, some number over one. Know that that's what we're looking for. How much faster does this diffuse in comparison to chlorine? So this would be my one, that would be my reference. Equals square root, okay, I'm going to switch the molar masses, just reciprocate how that chlorine and fluorine are written. Uh, fluorine, its molar mass is 19 times two is 38 grams per mole. Remember that's fluorine. Chlorine, 35.45 times that by two is 70.9 grams per mole. So we're going to divide this and then take the square root, and that value is 1.37. Okay, that's the number we get. And that equals, remember, fluorine compared to chlorine rates. So how do you give this answer? Again, this is understood to be over one. So this tells us that fluorine infuses 1.37 times faster, times faster, that's going to be our fluorine, then the chlorine, then the chlorine. So when you're given two uh, gases, you divide them, take the square root, and that quotient is going to give you how much faster or slower. Now, if it's greater than one, that means the um, gas in the numerator is faster. If it's less than one, like if I got, this is what this would be. Let me give this to you. 
If I had done it this way, if I had done chlorine rate divided by the fluorine rate, rate equals, and I just flipped this, it'd be the 38 divided by 70.9. Okay, if I did that, it's the reciprocal of this, which would be 0.72. Now, how you interpret that? That means that chlorine goes 0.72 times as fast, so it's a little bit slower, than the fluorine. That's how you interpret those. If it's less than one, it means it's slower. If it's greater than one, it means that that numerator, that gas is faster. Let me say that one more time. If the uh, rate of the gas in the numerator, if that's greater than one, it means it's faster. If the numerator is less than one, then that means the um, rate of the gas in the numerator is slower. And you can double check that, it will be easy because the smallest molar mass is going to be the one uh, that goes the fastest, yeah. Okay, so a couple of examples for you. Graham's rate of effusion. If you need to look at definitions or need more help with gases, check out the playlist for gases. Have a really good day, thank you.